Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They are sacred places for the natives. Places of connection. This place. This journal. My poor Constantine, you have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mir Frichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So much so that he's threatening Enonmil Frictiman himself. He wants to take his place. <sighs> to think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him to scout the place. We'll need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he's established. Even though I've studied the rituals of the natives, I really don't know how to proceed. I can only think of one person that could help us. Dunkus. Mev is too hostile towards strangers. You're right. Let's go and find him.
Hello, Your Excellency. What? No. Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. How can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the islanders, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures, in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, we're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I ask my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? You seem to know Kurt well. We have known each other a long time, and we have fought together. I think we have been brought closer by the ideals of the Guard. A mercenary guild, certainly, but for whom honor and loyalty are not empty words. Some would tell you that we're past it, that our vision is too naive and idealistic. Perhaps that's true, but I do not mind fighting and risking my life for what I believe is right. Kurt, too. Anything else? I have to go. Goodbye. I also have a lot to do. Until next time, Your Excellency.
Ah, de Sarde. I finally heard from my men. They told me what happened with the de Vesps. Thank you for stepping in and freeing them. Without your help, they would probably be dead by now. Anyway, believe me, those de Vesp vipers will not cross this sea unless in chains. But you didn't come here for me to congratulate you, did you? What can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, De Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. You can. My men aren't really used to fighting on land, but they will be by your side. You have proven time and time again that we can trust you. Thank you, Admiral. May the winds be in your favor, De Sarde. You'll need all the help you can get.
Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Denegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. You are asking me to risk the lives of my men to protect the sanctuary of an insular demon. You are out of your mind, Desade, and consider yourself lucky that I don't have you arrested right away. I implore you. You do not realize the magnitude of the threat that is weighing on your city. The Enlightened protects us. Leave us now. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé. I must leave you. Naturally. When you see Vad, give him my thanks. If it weren't for him, one of my friends would probably be dead, poisoned. That is the task of the Donegard. Helping others when they are in need. I'm glad he could help. I need your help. You may have heard about the strange guardians who are leading the animals to attack everyone. Yes. Daren of the Donea Exregal sent me a messenger to tell me about it. It is the work of my cousin. 
He completed the bonding ritual in several places on the island. Every time he bonds himself, he becomes more powerful, transforms the Guardians, and sends them to attack his enemies. And he weakens the island and threatens us all. Katasach and Evosh Tire should never have bonded him. His spirit is not in balance. The only thing he does is take and take again. He will eventually devour everything. Enon Mil Frichterman did warn me that he would now turn his attention to the heart of the island. What are you planning on doing, and how may I help? We're gathering our allies. But if we want to stop him, we'll have to weaken him. And break some of his bonds. I see. Rest assured. All the Donegada will answer to the call of their High King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is I who will need your help. What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The Guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. The only way to break this bond is to have a Guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. Here. Take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tiefradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Dunkers. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you. As I mentioned previously, I will need allies to fight against my cousin once we have weakened him. I already convinced some other factions to support us, but I also need the help of your people, because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichterman cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. He's a sage among sages. Even amongst the Donegada. Enon Mir Frichtemann speaks in his ear. I think he already knew what was happening, even before we came to see him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tiafredi couldn't have a better High King.
Let's plant the seed Lucas gave us at the base of the raised stone. Look! The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond.
We can access the stone now and plant it as a seed. Look! The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. My dear child, what can I do for you? I'll see you later, Father. Take care. Green blood, my dear. I must leave you. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone. And he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the Guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the natives' main sanctuary on the volcano. 
I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. You are asking me to risk the lives of my men to protect the sanctuary of an insular demon. You are out of your mind, Desade, and consider yourself lucky that I don't have you arrested right away. I implore you. You do not realize the magnitude of the threat that is weighing on your city. The Enlightened protects us. Leave us now. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. My dear child, what can I do for you? What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already at No, to lay I tried it. I'll see you later. Take. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? You seem to know Father Petrus well. What can you tell me about him? Do I frighten you so much that you do not dare question me directly, my child? Come on, Petrus. Our young legate probably wants an outside opinion on the person accompanying him. In response to your questions, Your Excellency, Petrus belongs to the Order of the Missionaries. He spent many years in different countries bringing the light. He is a shrewd diplomat and a devious politician, but I am sure you will appreciate his services. What will become of the members of the Ordo Luminous? Domitius will be sent back to the mainland and will be judged alongside some of his most vindictive colleagues. The Ordo Luminous as a whole cannot be held responsible for the errors of only one of its members. We need the Inquisitors, 
So some of them will continue their mission. Who are the missionaries? It is an order that aims to convert people. You must have met some of its followers in Serene. Most of them leave the comfort of Teleme to visit other countries, to spread the good word. This once relatively minor order has become quite significant in recent years, and has established itself in politics in the highest positions of our nation. Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose, he will soon attack the natives' main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. You are asking me to risk the lives of my men to protect the sanctuary of an insular demon. You are out of your mind, Desade, and consider yourself lucky that I don't have you arrested right away. I implore you. You do not realize the magnitude of the threat that is weighing on your city. The Enlightened protects us. Leave us now. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency.
Hello, Glendan. Birt Tirtumad on Olmenawi. What can I do for you? To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already spoken to me. I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. But the decision is not mine. And in truth, we do not have the choice, do we? No. It is all of Tirfredi and Enon Miel Frichtemen that's in danger. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. I fear that you will not be spared. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty and our will. These are our lands that are attacked. I have no doubt. Good luck, Glendan. May the rocks give you their toughness. You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying he has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you. 
I was able to give my mother back to the earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. What's happened to Constantine is regrettable. But you're doing what must be done. You're a good person, Greenblood. And you can count on your old master of arms to protect you. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies, and you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. The entrance to the Sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Dusade, glad to see you. Sadly, we couldn't stop your cousin. He suddenly stormed our position, along with a horde of enraged creatures. We didn't stand a chance. And now there are beasts attacking us relentlessly. My men are doing all they can to stop them. We thought it best to stay here to keep the path open for you, should you want to face your cousin. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait, there's a group of creatures coming. Maybe in life you protect me in this Again. I'll stay here with them, Greenblood. He's right. We must help them stop these creatures. Are you sure? Every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us. Glad to have you with us, Kurt. Just like the good old days. And thank you too, Afra. It is an honor. Enough with the talking, Greenblood. Go. And stop, Constantine. I'd hate to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you. And good luck to both of you.
may the enlightened protect me in this battle. There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart, even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. To arms! May the enlightened protect me in the my people and I'll stay with her one blade more can't hurt we need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks yeah we could use some help here to be honest I wouldn't have put it that way but the Moridigan isn't wrong you see over and done you should go now and may the volcano give you its strength well good luck Owen Siora 
Kayato. Is this the last time I'll see your face? I don't know. Go.
may be in right to protect me in this battle. This time it's my turn. It's up to me to stop the last wave of creatures. I knew you'd say that, but I hoped I was mistaken. Constantine thinks of you with a lot of affection, despite his madness. You are more likely to convince him than I am. My role is here. Go, go, my child. I pray for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful. Constantine! Why have you done this? But for you, 
for us, so that we may live free at last. This makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but I've seen death, cousin. And I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses, just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of cycles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. This victory allowed Siora to become the Marl of her village. But she often leaves to be reunited with the one she believes to be her soulmate. Zieglinda took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching his back, as he always had. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child.
Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with the Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Duncas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. Following the investigations revealing the horrifying practices of Dr. Asili, the Alliance changed their methods and even appointed an ethics council to oversee the work of its scholars. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Norts changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Sieglinder's control, the Guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. And they did so all the more easily, now that their shadiest members were out of the picture. Alas, the Devesp's arrival didn't bring peace to this island. Their scheming left its mark. Some of the people of New Serene still believe the lies they spread. However, the abundance of evidence against Aurelia signaled the end of the Devesp's ambitions, both on Tierfredi and the Old Continent, where they were harshly reprimanded by the Council, who relegated them to the status of the most obscure families. <laughs>